You want to talk about irony? Well, when you have the infamous groin attacker that is Draymond Green, send out a dick pic. That is irony right there. And we've brought in this analyst now. Take it easy on him. He's, it's his first time on camera. Um, he's coming in through Skype. So just make sure that uh, you give him a warm welcome. It's Jason Rubin. Jason, uh, how are you doing there, mate? It's been a tough life in Florida for a little bit. Family trip, family vacation, family birthdays. Uh, I have no complaints. I'm doing quite well. Hair's in perfect condition still, so I'm going to come back with even better looking hair. But, uh, <laughs> but by the way, so we talk, you talk about Draymond. Uh, what is with the media and Draymond Green and his obsession with balls? <laughs> <laughs> Not think just about his this. balls, everyone's balls. Think about it. It's insane yeah. when you think about it with Draymond Green and this one. And uh, I mean, but you got, have you read the quotes yet? Because please go chronologically through yes. these quotes. They're amazing. We're going through the order. So, um, Shortly after a not safe for work image appeared on the Golden State Warriors uh, Draymond Green Snapchat, he posted on Twitter this tweet saying, hacked, dot, 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 can't win right now. So um, things got better though from that. And then he posted, lol, jeesh. So after that, of course, the internet went through its spiral of uh, just basically calling Draymond Green out on his bullshit and laughing at the fact that he tried to cover this up. Uh, based on the thought that he had a hack. So as we circulate through memes, I'm sure there is a bunch from The Simpsons, all your favorite memes. And then uh, after initially claiming this, Jason, his, his, he ended up sending out a, uh, a quote which cleared up the fact that he was just trying to cover it. And he said, I'm not going to sit here and throw myself a pity party and say I can't catch a break. I'm fine. I get to joke around with these guys all day and get to do what I love for my country. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then later on, he said, I truly believe we all go through points in our life that help propel us to the next level. I'm at the stage right now where all this stuff will help propel me to the next level as a basketball player. But more importantly, as a man, I don't live my life with regrets. And I just imagined him just sitting there going, I'm fine. I'm fine. My dick's out in the universe. I'm fine. Nothing makes you sound more fine than that, completely restating how many times you're fine. I also like how he gets more philosophical with his quotes, like as he goes through, like more like humbled by the idea of it. Look, <laughs> like, first of all, Coach K was saying not too long ago that they're having too much fun. I actually think Draymond Green took that very seriously because yeah. he was having way too much fun. On top of everything, he says he's one, he said at one point he was one click away. How many times have you been one click away from making a drastic mistake? Well, technically it's two clicks away because you have to take a picture of yourself first Look at that and then send it out to everybody. I mean, it's moronic, sure, but like at the same time, he's not the first guy to get caught sending one of the like sending a picture like this. And again, I think the media is also looking at times to find a way to pinch Draymond Green. Ever since he became went from passionate to villain, now it's you know again he kicked two guys in the nuts during the playoffs. Completely unacceptable. He gets like, grilled for that. Then, you know, he becomes one of the people, well, oh, it was Draymond Green who dragged Kevin Durant away from the Thunder, you know, villain Draymond Green. Now he's sending pictures. Like, he's not the first guy to do it. We have our politicians doing it. <laughs> not long ago, it was Anthony Weiner. He literally sent his Weiner two years ago out to the entire public. So That's the best thing. I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> the, funny, the funny thing about this is, first of all, when I, when I woke up to the news, um, the first article that I seen didn't state the name. It just said NBA basketball player caught in dick pic scandal. And immediately I just had a thought, right, it's going to be J.R. Smith or it's going to be Draymond Green. And obviously I was right on one of those. But I think you're absolutely right. I think that it was, um, if it was uh, J.R. Smith, the headline would have read laying the pipe scandal. Yeah, absolutely. But hold on a sec. They're going to cut this out and post. I've been dodging as if I'm dodging bullets in here. I'm dodging a fly that keeps flying towards my head. <laughs> trouble. Either way. So you mentioned before, Jay, that uh, Coach K, we did the clip with uh, Chewy, basically stating that they're having too much fun. And I've seen videos circulate. I mean, it looks like a blast. There was a video circulating on the plane, I believe, when they're singing uh, the song from White Chicks. And I miss you. thousand miles. And, uh, you know every and word. then you see yeah, it pans over to Carmelo Anthony. And he's just <laughs> sitting in the corner like, I'm going to kill each and every one of you guys. Right. And then those videos of, uh, that have just came around after this of uh, DeMarcus Cousins in particular, everyone seems to be clowning Draymond Green. DeMarcus Cousins sitting there as we'll throw up the image with his phone looking as if he's trying to take a pic of his own dick. So at least they're all having fun with it. It's amazing. Uh, what do you think goes look. forward for Draymond Green? Do you, I, I mean, the last point I wanted to have is it's typical Draymond that he just goes from one end of the spectrum to the other. Like, I'm hacked, and then just to, no, I'm not going to sit here and throw myself a pity party. Well, you just tried to throw yourself a pity party by stating that you got hacked, trying to get right. people to come in and investigate it. So you went from one end to the other really quick. 
What do you think? Is this typical Draymond? Do you think he bounces back? No problem. I think it would be great if fans like or people that don't like Draymond Green find a new chant like Honey Nut Cheerios was for Carmelo Anthony. Like that really that I guess had some mental effect on the game when he was playing. But if they have it with Draymond Green too, I don't think it's going to affect his play. And I think Coach K is. He's like Bill Belichick in a way. I mean, he's like seems like the least fun person to be around. Brilliant basketball mind. Brilliant coach. But he doesn't seem like a guy that's going to have a good time. He's there to win. All the pressure's on him. He's got the best players in the world uh, going after a gold medal. So with Draymond Green, no, it's not a big deal. It's a dick pick. It happens. Like, he's not the first person. I promise you it will be forgotten about when, uh, let's say, J.R. Smith gets caught with his. Yeah. Or DeMarcus Cousins gets caught with his. Or Steve Nash gets called with his, I don't know, just insert any basketball player here. Maybe not basketball, could be football, could be anybody. Uh, I don't think this is anything he has to bounce back from. I don't think it's going to affect his game. I just think that it's one of those things where you keep going, well, if you're following the pattern, Draymond Green has a fascination with balls. Well, I'm sure that uh, opposition fans will be having their uh, I got hacked signs ready for next right. season to take up to the games because that is the funniest part of this whole thing. But either way, we appreciate Jason Skyping in. He's back in the studio Wednesday, I believe, Jay. You'll be back in. It's been a yep. long few days without you. We've struggled. Hassan's been crying in the corner ever since you did leave. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're trying to find ways, uh, ways to deal with you not being here. But anyway, um, thanks for tuning in to 2IT Sports. Check out uh, all, the, all the social media links in the description below, should I say. Jason Rubin 91 on Twitter and Instagram. Follow all his travels over there and see what he's up to. And on Snapchat, right, Jay? What's your Snapchat? Jason Rubin 91? No. So it's dip. They're all different. What's Why would I make them all the same? Jason R904 on Snapchat. Oh, Jesus. That's a code. That's a matrix code. All right. Well, yeah. if you happen to be Neo and you're able to crack that, go and follow him on there. And at me, Francis underscore Maxwell, Twitter, Francis Maxwell, host on Instagram, and Franny Bahoy, one, all that good stuff. If you just want to follow the links, it's fine. You can come back again. You like these